Let me play this in full first here. There's no sound. It's a cool set. There's some really cool stuff in here. I really like this. I think the biggest notes are on that jump, fall, and then the exit here at the end. Wait for it. And wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that cracks me up. I do like that he's slightly unstable at the end there. <gasps> All right. I think the only thing I would say is, um, like, we start the shot and there's something going on here. And we have to understand that he is on a crocodile alligator. I was I never remember which one. And uh, that is a relationship that they have. And there's all of this with awesome detail. There's a lot to take in. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I will probably wait with the fish. So we see this and maybe that's the timing of this guy. So I would just take the animation of those two and just go backwards and just delay them so that we see this, we understand, oh, okay, there's a, there's a kind of crocodile, all right, they're not, he's not eating this guy, okay, and then the fish comes out, now we understand, oh, okay, that's what just happened. So it's a tiny thing, it's not, it's not killing your shot, it's just, a, just a note. And then, there is a slight offset, I do appreciate that, I just wonder if this could be a different pose. The reason why I'm asking is because it's, it could either, either be more in terms of like more attention, like looking, he's already looking around and sees this. He goes, all right, there's something there, gotta go get my stuff. Or, totally casual, push this casual pose, could even be sitting. I know this is totally destroying your shop. Just thinking out loud where where it's, oh, I'm just riding this and I'm, I'm almost home. Wait, there's a fish, oh, I need these. Let me get out of there. The thing that destroys my note though is that if he's super casual and then jumps up to go, oh, I need to get this then this feels almost a bit casual. He's not in a super hurry. So, not sure if my note is the right one, but I do want to just mention it. Something for you to decide, thinking out loud here. Because from a technical point of view, this is all really well animated. And all the transitions are great. I like that jump with a slight lean back. And a bit of a slowdown before he gets to the ladder. There's some moments, I would say, where like the legs like that leg comes up really quickly and then hits that bam that invisible wall here let's go back down it's just for me it's stuff like that that i will tweak a bit but i love the complexity of going up there and then how he reaches up there to do that and has to add a little bit jump and slight little hops there that's great comes out sees this i love that little wait and look it's just enough time for him to react and look at things the only thing I would say is almost a bummer is that he goes over and then we have that leg flowing into that arm, flowing through the spear. Like the silhouette is not super clean. And it's almost like if he's there and he's in a hurry, he might as well just take this arm, reach out to grab it. He doesn't have to take a step and go over there. Because then he just comes back. I know this will destroy your animation. I'm just, again, thinking out loud. Could just be this, like being the slight step change, but then grabbing with his, arm, with his left arm for just a much cleaner open silhouette. You can then always, you know, throw the spear over for then this arm to grab it and then get into this, maybe. The only thing where it gets a bit wonky for me at the end is that this is such a big jump and you're really starting with an arc this way. I mean, that grows really out there, but then visually we're flattening. That makes sense. For me, like, this is the beginning of an arc for something like this. But then you have a sudden stop. And it's such a huge jump where he would land and bam, impact. It's almost like... Maybe he jumps less, so he lands here for that slide. There's just something that felt a bit, whoa, that's a really big jump that technically he should land over here. That would just destroy everything. So I would probably maybe reduce that. And then watch out that arm just kind of gets into a stiff section through there where nothing kind of moves and stays around. Then it gets a bit better. But then once we get to here, it still feels a bit kind of stuck in that pose. I know he's sliding. And I like that he pushes off somewhat with that arm. That's cool. But there's just something about it feeling a bit stiff and blocky through there with his arms, uh, with the legs kind of stuck there. And again, there, I do like the little hold in the air, but then it just, it just keeps that blocky feel, that rough feel, which is kind of in that pose, in that pose. And then you have this where, like, he looks like he just missed, like, that's not what he wanted. He didn't want to go this far. But when you watch it in real time, to me, it just feels like that's what you wanted to do. I'm kind of missing when I frame through that. That feeling of, oh, I went too far, I'm kind of missing. So to me, it's almost like you want to do this 
and then have here a bit of a scramble maybe with legs and arms. Whoa, he missed this. <laughs> I like that face though. Eh. Comes back out. This feels a bit weird timing wise. You come out with the hand, smacks down, but then it's kind of so it's that fast move and then very slow spacing through there. This just feels a bit weird. It's like it's very straight, it's very stiff again, chest and the head. All that very, very stiff there. And then you have a linear key with that with that movement on the head there. And then all of that is not really influencing the chest. It gets a bit rough animation-wise towards the end to me. Whereas that feels a lot better. This, the only thing I would say is we're getting into kind of muffled silhouette there where we just don't... It's not super clear what you have. It could be a bit more three-quarter. So we have a nicer view of the body line and, and leg and arm separation. Even this here, as you want to separate these, we still end up with the feet overlapping with arms. So I feel like that could be reworked a bit. Comes out, which out ends up a bit twins. Again, we could have a bit of a change there with one arm up. That's cool, I like that. But then watch out, he has that move with the roots. This whole body, all of this is moving over. But then we kind of stop fairly abruptly. It's not a linear key as in hitting a wall, but it's not that he's off balance, he still has the foot there, but it's borderline. And I just feel like with all of that momentum, all that weight in the body, he will go overshoot a bit and then come back. But if he would overshoot, we might end up being really off balance. So maybe I would just reduce the amount of movement in the overall body. Also silhouette wise, your bend of the knee is straight towards camera. It gives us a bit of a strange silhouette there with that line. So I would probably keep this foot out a bit more. And that way that body line can flow into this versus curved bam straight. This gets a bit post to pose, but everything moving at the same time with those arms. And it's a bit like you're starting to go this way, but then like that arm starts to move up. Bit of a funky silhouette there. And then down and then bam hits that wall boom that's a bit rough there a bit of a broken wrist there the body starts up going back of the chest and the head but then straight down i know this because he also goes down but then i would drag the head a bit more but still continue to arch that back a bit this watch out it's too bad it's connected there i will keep that silhouette again clean it gets a bit muffled there and almost tangent like there again we're, we're overlapping a lot and i think this could be just a bit cleaner and again, the body going back, it feels like there's a lot of momentum back, where he's almost leaning back. I know there's some counterweight there, but then I would take that leg and bring it back so that we have a, big, a bit of a change there, not overlapping again the shins here. So, shins on. So that you have, uh, that's the cleanest of it in the legs. That's all cute. Uh -huh, okay, let's go. The thing that cracks me up, and maybe that's intentional, but maybe what you can do is, Expose the tail a bit more so that we can see the how that creature goes forward. So right now it's such like a magical car. And I see moving here. You have it in there. I would just go up a bit so we see this a bit more. And then if you want to keep this this fast, because now you're getting into really cartoon line of going. He also starts to kind of slide over. I don't know, give this a bit more of a, a path there. Less less sideways. I'll just break this up a bit more where. The body would still be here-ish, and then the head would turn this way. It's a bit more, like I said, a bit more pathy. Then you got more visible tail movement. And as he goes back, I would actually have him move even further back. That gets him a bit out of off balance. Because it's so fast that move that he's slightly dragging there, and then can readjust the step for that. For this pose, I would also bring that shoulder higher. Might as well go all the way up here and have a pose like that. It doesn't feel kind of somewhat straight in this. I think that just feels a bit crummy in terms of a pose. So you're starting to have it here, but there's something with that gap here. I would try to bring that shoulder over and that lower neck over there. So that head and that arm are a bit closer together, if that makes sense. And that's kind of that. Didn't really critique the fish. Don't really know how those fish would jump. I mean, I like what they have. You got a wiggle there with the change in the heads. Let me see this guy. Maybe this guy. This guy hits a bit of a wall there. Right there. Maybe that's how reacting to comes up and then has that flung flung. But then you almost expect a bit more rotation than back. There's a little bit of a harshness right through there. The only other thing watching this again is that 
this tip has an arc down like that. Where it's, it's almost like if this was a cutting thing, it will cut into something. But this is a, a pointy tip where if there's the fish, it would almost be, you start off like that and watch out for tangents there, even on, on, in between to be careful. But I would go up where it's almost has to point up, 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 up to then come straight down, if that makes sense. Instead of a swipey down, if the fish is there, it wouldn't really impale it. because It's kind of like a side swipe scratch. It would have to be, if that's your end pose, you bring up that speed to a straight down stab, impaling thing. That would be another last note there. All right, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Lots of notes here and there. Let me know if you have any questions, and that's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.